Nashinu indeed is not what it used to be. So how has it changed? What type of demographics do you have living in your municipality? Do you know that 50% of the population is below the age of 27 in Fiji? Do you know that 70% of the population is below the age of 40 in Fiji? So those people, they are your clients, they are your customers. As the minister said, we need to generate also revenue, but it's not just that. It's also about providing services. So how do you tap into that? What are the areas? Some of your municipalities may have a demographic which may have older people. How are you catering for them? They are the ratepayers. What are you doing? How are you positioning yourself? If you go overseas, Justin talks about his pearls. If you mention the word Fiji, it conjures up very positive images. People don't think negatively. People have positive connotations about Fiji. So we need to be able to position ourselves. I'm talking about the big picture stuff. The second big thing at the moment that's also happening, apart from that, apart from the, the sevens image, the rugby image, the friendly people image, Fiji where happiness finds you image, is of course our position in climate change. So what are we going to do as municipal councils regarding climate change? It's basically a rubbish bin for cigarette butts. The cigarette butts, as you know, everybody throws cigarette butts around in Fiji. It is the most undissolvable material you'll find. You go to beaches, you go everywhere, you'll find cigarette butts. So our municipal councils having those kinds of See, they put it next to a, no, no. They put it next to a rubbish bin, and you put the holder for the cigarette butts. It's a very basic thing. Now, if you look at the imaging of the rubbish bins, the minister and I have had discussions. We put in the last, in the last uh, uh, budget also, that we want to have uniform bins throughout Fiji. I can go to Ba, I'll find a different type of rubbish bin. I go to Lotoga, I'll find a different type of rubbish bin. I go to another municipality, there's a very dysfunctional rubbish bin. Some of those rubbish bins are so dysfunctional, you know, they've got nice rooftop, but it's very difficult to put your hand through. So, we want all of you not just to think about your municipalities or your own individual municipalities, the minister was saying about Nasino, Nasori and what have you, but also to think all of you have the opportunity now to sit back and think, okay, how are we going to roll out our rubbish bins? It needs to be functional. It needs to have that brand. I'm a tourist. I'm a citizen. I'm in Nandi. I go to Tavua. I go to Lambasa the next day. Everything's uniform. That gives confidence to people. Psychologically, it instills uniformity. Uniformity always gives people confidence. It makes, makes people feel secure. That's the wonderful thing about uniformity. This is precisely the reason why municipal councils no longer do roads. It's done by FRA. The quality of roads in municipalities were terrible. Some were good, some weren't good. So there's now a uniform approach to roads. And in fact, all of you owe us lots of money. We have been fixing up the roads for all the municipal councils. You owe us at least $15 million. We do the footpaths. We do the lighting now, we do the roads now. Yet the municipal council have not given us a single set. And we intend to get that money back to the Ministry of Local Government. Because the, 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 the ratepayers of Fiji or the municipal council have actually paid that money. And if you see in part, some parts of the, of the roads are very, very good now. But there's also uniformity. The uniformity, of course, comes procurement. Procurement is very critical. Again, the other point, of course, is, you know, municipal public toilets. Um, some of you probably never foot, step foot in it, in those uh, toilets. That should not be the case. How many public toilets do we have? We've had some private uh, developers who until recently were charging people money to use their toilets, when by law they have to allow those toilets to be used for free. Mm -hmm. And municipal council allowed that to happen. These are the types of things. When you build, if you go to some of the quality of the public toilet, it's terrible. There's no sunlight. It's dark. It's dingy. The lights don't work half the time. How about having sunroofs? You can have sunroofs. There's nothing to steal there except the system. You can have the sunroofs to make it a lot more, you know, inviting, if you like, for want of a better word. These are the kind of things we need to be able to um, think about.